Hey, this is Matthew. And this is Andrea. Welcome back to Nerd News Today for another Ghostbusters action figure review. Today we are looking at Series 8 of the Ghostbusters Line by Diamond Select. It is Slime Blower Race Dance. Yeah, I've actually been probably the most excited for uh, of the Ghostbusters themselves in this line, the ones with the Slime Blowers, because really we already got the Proton Packs in the first wave and those figures aren't really any different. This time around, it's they had to make a new body, which is nice, and it comes with a Slime Blower, which is just awesome looking. The Slime Blowers were one of my favorite parts of Ghostbusters too, if I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. Just because they look like they were fun. Yeah, and this toy looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun as well. Very excited to get the Slime Blower. So the packaging is, again, as we said, same as every single Diamond Select package you can get for the Ghostbusters toys. Mm -hmm. Very big, very large, and in charge. Yes. There's a bio that comes with each one of these figures, and it is the same as the last one, so I'm not, we're not, we're not touching that so a little bit. So it's an identical bio. That's surprising. Not really. It's just basically saying what happened five years after the original incident. I just figured since this is like the slime blower version, they'd probably like say something a little bit different about it, but I, I would have not. liked it if they had mentioned, you know, the whole Ray gets possessed by Vigo kind of thing, considering they give us a spare head. But, you know. Maybe they just want us to discover that on our own. And joining Ray Stance in this line are two guys with Proton Packs, which is Winston and Peter Venkman. Mm. So all right, let's go ahead and get Ray out of the box and take a look at the figure itself. Okay. <laughs> we now return to the real Ghostbusters. And we're back. And here's Ray Stance with his slime blower. And we've already attached the slime goop. I, I couldn't resist. I'm sorry. It just looked too much fun not to add. It's enormous, though, which is really cool. I know. I kind of love it. So yeah, most of the figures, as I mentioned, the Ghostbusters, they're all kind of the same. They have the jumpsuit. They usually have the same proton pack. Uh, this is at least one of the ones that's different because he's got the slime blower. And it does look really cool because it's got a different chest piece for him. Uh, slightly different attachment over here. And of course, the blower itself. And he holds it like it's a gun. <laughs> oh, okay, fine. I have no idea how to put this all together. I'm sorry. I'm just, I just see it and I'm like, ooh, slime blower. I think it's actually supposed to go over him like this. Oh, that would make more sense. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I believe it goes like this so that he could have uh, a hand on it. But maybe not oh. quite. It's it's kind of weird. Yeah, it's a little weird. I'm just going to have him hold it like that for now. I don't care. I just like it. It's a slime blower. And I don't know if you've noticed, but Ray's joints are extremely stiff. But all the diamond figures usually are like very stiff out of the box. Yeah. But he feels a little stiffer than usual. Now let's show you guys the back of the slime blower because I'm actually really inspecting it right now myself. Look it's how it's really cool. Yeah, it's a really, really awesome looking slime blower. And mm. It's pretty much movie accurate. I mean, you're not going to really get that many toys like this really in general. Like, you know, Mattel did theirs, which were the first to ever have slime blowers. Diamond Select versions are pretty sweet looking also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm really, really happy about the slime blowers. Slime blowers make me happy. I can't help it. It's a very thick paint job, which it really is it's thicker than the first uh, Ghostbusters wave. Yeah, um, there are a couple of little splotches that are just, there's a little bit of slop in a few various little places. It's not enough to make me go, oh, throw this, sh you know, away. Yeah. It's not enough for that, but if that is something that you care about, it, you know, you should be aware. I dig it for the most part. I mean, he looks good. It's a good ray face. Yeah, it's the same ray face we got yeah, last exactly. time. <laughs> and I really like the slime blower. Yeah, that's the best part. I, I really didn't want to get most of the Ghostbusters 2 figures initially because I didn't just want repaints. Yeah. So that's why the first ones I actually ended up getting after the RGBs and now I want to complete the firehouse was the slime blowers because they do look so good. They, they really do. Now, Ray, you'll notice, also has uh, a clear wire here. Mm -hmm. uh, the others used to have a yellow wire. So this yeah. is clear in this case. So in terms of accessories, Ray gets... One extra set of hands, uh, just gloved hands, that's it. Which is good. I'm I'm okay with that because I don't really think he needs that many hands. Yeah, I wouldn't even take him out. Yeah. Uh, he comes with a walkie-talkie, which you can insert onto his belt. Yeah, but, you know, again, it's, it's not, nothing big. But then there are the fun ones. So Ray comes with a jar of mood slime. Does that lid no, come off? No, it question? doesn't. Ah, oh, that's still pretty cool, though. It's a jar of mood slime. And what Ray does with that mood slime, you don't want to know. You don't want to know. Oh, did they ever? No, they never showed it. It would have been kind of interesting to see what they showed what the what the slime did when it got, you know, in the mood. It's, it's a PG movie. I'm just saying! We saw angry, we saw happy, you know, we saw... But I'd love to know what it looks like depressed, too. Or filled with anxiety. I'm just saying, I would like to see the other moods. Mostly we'll you just want to see Ray fill that jar. Oh, God, no! Ray's got a whole bunch of other issues and kinks, but no, 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 I don't need to see that. I, I just want to see what the slime does. I, I don't. Well, excuse me for being the more adventurous one of us. You're excused. And finally, Ray comes with the coolest thing of all, a Vigo head for when he gets possessed at the end of the movie. 
This set is just the coolest. I mean, it's so... Vigo. All right, I actually want to try and mm -hmm. pop the head off and see if we can get Vigo's head on there. That would be awesome. Fingers cause... crossed, doesn't break on us. So I'll be honest, the head is really stuck on there tight and I don't want to really mess with it mm. too much to be completely honest. So, uh, so just... if I do it though, I'll, I'll make sure to insert a shot of it after the fact. And finally, he comes with a piece of the firehouse okay. diorama. And I think this looks like it's a piece of the door, maybe, right? I'm not sure what the, or maybe, I, oh, maybe it's a window. I would say window more than door. Yeah, maybe it's a window. Yeah, because I think we have the door and a few other figures. Yeah, so uh, not, not even entirely sure which way it actually goes, so let's hold it like this. But it's a big piece of the diorama, at least, so we know that much. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a cool head. It's just unfortunate that, yeah, it's, it's, this figure is very stiff out of the box, and I'm having a little really hard time getting his head off there, so... We're gonna wait on that. Yeah. So. But it's just really fun to play with. I'm sorry I can't help it. Look at that. <laughs> so that's our look at Ray Stance with the Slime Blower from Ghostbusters 2 Diamond Select. I'm Matthew. I'm Andrea. That's the floating head of Ray possessed by Vigo. It's Vigo. Vigo. We'll see you guys next time.